Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Tech with Alem Spaja. In this video, I will show you how to use the Laravel PHP Artisan serve command. Let's get started. Basically, the command line interface called Artisan exists at the root of the application as the Artisan script and contains helpful commands to build and interact with different parts of the application. So if you head over to your uh, just to this um, root directory here, you would see a file called Artisan. So this artisan is basically where all of those commands that are executed in Laravel have been defined. If you are familiar with PHP artisan serve command, you can check out my video on how to create custom commands in a Laravel application. So what is PHP artisan serve? So PHP artisan serve command in Laravel is the basic command used to start a Laravel development server during local development. So it's basically used for local development. Um, when you are trying to build a Laravel application, a way to serve the application so that you can make requests into the application and then return responses. So you need to use the PHP artisan serve command. This command is used for serving both API and full stack Laravel application during development. So even if you are building just APIs, you still need to use PHP artisan serve or you are rendering pages to the web browser, you still use PHP artisan serve. So here's how to use it. So um, like I've been mentioning, so the command is php artisan serve. Okay, so when you serve the application, it will run on a particular host. So this first part of it is the host, and then this is the port. The port is 8000, and then this is the host. So you could see it says info server running. So this server is now running um, locally. You head over to this thing on the browser, it will display the landing page of this application. However, if you want to customize this PHP artisan sub command, probably you want to use another port or probably another host because you know some persons have XAMPP and other tools they use on their machine. So probably a port is being used by another application, or you have a multiple Laravel um, codes open, like you have multiple projects that are you are working on, and then probably a particular Laravel application is already being served on port eight thousand. So you want to change the port or you want to change the host. So for you to change um the port if you want to use a port other than the default port which is 8000 you would say php artisan serve and then you say port and then you say 8001 so it will serve the application on you could see on port 8000 m8001 just in case there are, there are a lot of application that uses port 8000 so or probably you have another large application that is using port 8000 so you can also um specify a custom host using the dash dash host flag so all of these things were adding they are called flags or you can call them arguments so i can say php artisan serve and then i say hosts so i can decide to say 127.0.0.2 and then i press enter so it will serve this application so you could see now you could serve this application on hosts 127.0.0.2 now you can also um use the host and the host flag and the port flag together so you could say php artisan serve and then you say dash dash host and then you say 127.0.0.2 and then you say port and then you say 8002 so this will serve the application so the server will be running on this host 127.0.2 and then the ports will be 8002 and then so if you want to stop the server you can actually terminate the terminal you can kill the terminal session or you just press like it's indicated here you press ctrl c so this is quite helpful um if you are just starting out in laravel you would find this very helpful so this is how to serve a laravel application and then when you head over to the browser like you could see here you can see that the application is running on a particular port. Let me know what you think about the PHP artisan serve command in a Laravel application in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, click the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel and share the video with your community. Until next time, bye.